I hope you're having a great day and I hope you have a great weekend coming ahead. Today I want to talk about, you know, a lot of people say that, Luke, how do you reverse type 2 diabetes? How have you and your team been able to reverse type 2 diabetes? You know, when people are told that type 2 diabetes is not reversible and you need to live with diabetes for a lifetime. Well, we don't have any magic foods. We don't have any magic diets. It all comes down to the ability of the human body to regenerate damaged cells. Is, is regeneration possible? Of course, we see that all the time. Skin, when your skin gets broken, your skin is to regenerate. The liver as well. Every medical expert knows that the liver has the ability to regenerate when there is damage. Today, the beauty is medical science is showing us that the beta cells, which is responsible in the pancreas to produce insulin, Okay, in type 2 diabetes, either the beta cells are unable to produce the right amount of insulin, which is why your blood sugar levels rise, or we have a second problem where your cells are insulin resistant. They are unable to open up to uh, allowing blood sugar in your blood to enter the cells and then bring down your blood sugar levels. But today, medical science is showing us the possibility of the regeneration of these beta cells. And it is very interesting to know that it is possible when we start living according to the circadian rhythm. Now, for everyone who's new on today's call, I mean, on today's video, we've written a book on the circadian rhythm. It's free. Someone from my team will put the link, download it and read it. It will change your life. It's as simple as this. You see, there is diabetic medication to bring down your blood sugar levels. All good. If you need it, take it. But we should also ask ourselves the question, like, what is the root cause? Why aren't my beta cells naturally unable to produce insulin? Don't we want to know that? Because if something's not functioning in our body, yes, there's a medicine for the symptom, but we should want to know why we cannot get better. Why do we have this problem, number one, in our body? It could be inflammation that is destroying your beta cells. It could be an autoimmune condition which attacks your beta cells like in type 1 diabetes and you're unable to produce insulin. So these little indicators gives us warnings that something isn't right in our body. So while the diabetes symptoms are being managed by medication, we should also address the root cause so that in the future, that inflammation doesn't cause a problem in our heart, our liver, our brain or our kidney. So now coming back to this latest science that we're seeing, okay, the, what the science is telling us that regeneration of the beta cells are possible. They notice that regeneration is compromised when there is a dysfunctional body clock. What do we mean by a dysfunctional body clock? It means that you are sleeping at different timings every day, you're sleeping late, you're waking up too early or you're waking up too late. You see, the human body works on a rhythm. That's the circadian rhythm. Your breath is a rhythm. Your pulse rate is a rhythm. Your heartbeat is a rhythm. Your eating cycles work with rhythm. When we are not in rhythm, we are in disharmony. When we're in disharmony, we cannot get better. We cannot heal. Yes, the medication may take care of the symptoms, but we cannot get better, which is why it's called chronic medication. That is why so many diabetics are on medication for a lifetime. But if they change the way they live, if they adapt to the circadian rhythms, that is how people are reversing their type 2 diabetes. They're starting to eat their meals at the same time every day, starting to work out at the same time every day. Most importantly for diabetics today, coming back to the topic, if you want to regenerate your beta cells, you need to align with the circadian rhythm of sleep, which means, yes, you're going to have to start getting into bed at the same time, at least six out of seven days and waking up preferably before sunrise. The circadian rhythm works on light and dark. That is the indicator that controls 100 plus functions in the human body. So if we are able to get into bed that one to two hours before midnight, that allows for a more functional body clock to be working. If I'm sleeping at one o'clock, then two o'clock the next day, then 12 o'clock, then 10 o'clock, I have a dysfunctional circadian rhythm and that doesn't give my body the environment to regenerate my cells. Regeneration is happening in your brain, your liver, your kidney, your heart, your pancreas, which contain your beta cells for your insulin. So healing or recovery also requires us to put our body, which has the condition, into the right environment. I always give this example and I'll give it again. You can be the best baker. You can make the perfect bread dough and you can put it in an oven 
but the temperature can be inaccurate by even a degree and your bread will not rise. What does this show us? That you need the right environment for something to work. So you can take all the medicines, you can eat organic food, you can work out, but if you are not putting your body in an environment that is required for regeneration, it's not gonna work. It's as simple as that. So you will be stuck on your medication for a lifetime. You'll be chasing diet after diet. But today we have hundreds and thousands of people around the world who have started living according to the circadian rhythm. And right from arthritis, pains, the acne, the fat loss, the diabetes being reversed, the thyroid functioning getting better, the people who have Alzheimer's and dementia showing signs of improvement. It's incredible. There's no magic. The magic is you are aligning your body with the laws of nature. You're allowing the intelligence of your body to be harnessed. Your body is always trying to heal you. Your body only cares about survival. If something's wrong, it's trying to fix it. Know that your body's not taking a holiday from survival. It's trying to fix it. But when we come in the middle with all of our excess medications, our supplements, overtraining the body, under eating, punishing our body from food, punishing our body with sleep deprivation, we interfere with the body's healing intelligence and that's why we never get better. So today, if you are that person with diabetes or any disease out there, know that you have a very powerful mechanism that maybe you've not yet used. Does it cost you money? It's absolutely free. To live the circadian way, there are many, many things that you can do. I'm gonna talk about all of them really quickly. Start off with one, make it a lifestyle. Then start off with two, three, four. I can guarantee you, you will start to feel better and your conditions will start to get better when you put your body to heal in the right environment, which is the circadian rhythm. So number one, you wanna to try to have your dinner as close as possible to sunset or at least within an hour after sunset. Early dinner, circadian rhythm. Your body isn't, di isn't designed to break down heavy meals later in the night. It's as simple as that. Number two, switch your phones off one hour before bedtime. You do not want blue light and artificial light to interfere with your melatonin production, which is required for your circadian rhythm. Number three, select a bedtime, whether it's 9.30, 10, 10.30, 11, select that time, and at least Sunday night till Friday, try to get into bed at that same time every night. Then try to wake up before sunrise. So if you're able to get into bed by 10, 10.30, or 11, you are surely gonna wake up before sunrise, okay? So that's important for you as well, circadian rhythm. When you wake up, do not look at your phone for at least two hours. Connect with natural light. If there's no sun, look out, look at the blue sky, look at the green trees, that resets your melatonin for the next 12 hour cycle. So you see, this is a circadian rhythm. Then again, eat your meals at the same time every day. If you're fasting, break your fast at the same time every day. But you see, the body needs a rhythm. You don't feed it according to what you think is right. You feed it according to rhythm. So people who have beautiful rhythms, their body will automatically remind them to eat at 11 in the morning, lunch at 1.30, dinner at six o'clock. You don't have to remind yourself. It's a rhythm that works naturally. But imagine you're eating your meal time, your meals at different timings every day. You confuse the rhythm. You interrupt digestion. You interrupt blood sugar levels. You interrupt every aspect of the human body. The body works in a clock. That is your circadian clock. And for that, you need to eat at the same timing every day. Give and take 30 minutes, 45 minutes. That's absolutely fine. Also try to get into the habit of working out at the same time every day. So maybe yoga is at seven o'clock, your run is at five o'clock, whatever it is. But once you start doing the same things like a timetable, your body aligns to that rhythm. When you are in rhythm, you are in harmony. When you're in harmony, that's the only way you can heal. That's why we talk about homeostasis in medical science. Homeostasis means everything is going perfectly. When you're out of homeostasis, you're out of rhythm. Your blood pressure is up or it's too low. Your cholesterol levels are high. Your blood, your pulse rate is high. You're out of rhythm. The body cannot heal or help you grow and repair when you're out of homeostasis, which is why people, the, the medical world first tries to bring you to homeostasis by stabilizing your blood sugar levels, stabilizing your blood pressure, and only then can the body heal. So if you're in disharmony, no matter what vitamins, supplements, medication, organic food you're eating, your body doesn't have the mechanism or the capability to heal. But when you're in harmony, the body can go and even identify cancerous cells, start to break down tumors, start to identify blocks in your brain through plaques and Alzheimer's, dementia, balance your blood sugar levels because you are putting your body in 
and aligning it with the laws of nature. That is an intelligence that no scientist or doctor to date understands. It doesn't mean it's not important. In fact, that is the intelligence that heals us, that grows us, that gives birth to us, that keeps our brain functioning every second of the day and night. Things that science and medicine cannot explain but it doesn't mean it's not right for us. So take that body, which may be sick right now, and put it into a circadian rhythm, and you will find your blood sugar levels start to improve over time, because regeneration is happening all the time. But you see, everyone's worried about degeneration. Oh, my bones are degenerating. I'm aging rapidly. All of that is a natural process. It can be slowed down when we allow our body to regenerate. Your body's constantly trying to regenerate. Are we giving it the right environment? Are we giving it the right food, the right amount of sleep, the right amount of exercise and recovery? Are we looking after our stress levels that causes degeneration? But when I'm calm, I allow my body and myself to regenerate. This is the power of the circadian rhythm when it comes to diabetes. 90% of our patients who are now diabetes free have observed the circadian rhythm. Does, does this mean that your life is going to be boring? Absolutely not. In fact, most people who are now living the circadian way say, Luke, our life before this with over-socializing late nights seems abnormal. This is the new normal. When we align ourselves to the cycles of nature, that is normal. Everything else is abnormal. Parting late every night, every night is abnormal. Parting twice a week, once a week is normal. Okay, overeating every day is abnormal. Eating in moderation is normal. Overtraining and punishing your body with exercise is abnormal. So you see, most of us are doing abnormal things. And that's why we have abnormalities and abnormal diseases and conditions that no matter how much people are doing, they still have dull skin, they're aging rapidly, they have acne, they're constipated. You're doing so much, you should be better. It's not about how much you do. It's about the quality and how well you are aligned with nature. Every action has to be aligned with nature and that's when the healing starts. So uh, someone from my team will kindly post the circadian link. It's a free book, download it, practice it. It will change your life. If you can't get seven out of seven days living the circadian way, get six out of seven. You can't get six out of seven, get five out of seven, get four out of seven, but start. Have a great weekend everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right and breathe deep. And remember, you care is all about you.